Can you imagine a world that's dark and gray, lifeless, cold, and dry? Everything that you see around you is the byproduct of biodiversity. It breathes life to the world and splashes hues of greens and blues to our ecosystem. So, what makes biodiversity important? It keeps us all alive. It provides us water to drink, food to eat, oxygen to breathe, and clothes to wear. According to the Convention on Biological Diversity, or CBD, the Philippines is one of 18 mega biodiverse countries of the world, containing two-thirds of the Earth's biodiversity and between 70 and 80 percent of the world's plant and animal species. However, with the ever-changing environment and increasing global temperature brought about by climate change, some species of forest trees fail to cope with such changes, thereby affecting their ability to survive. But it's never too late. We can still protect our forests and preserve our natural resources. So how do we make a difference to save biodiversity? Through genetic diversity. Genetic diversity refers to the variations observed in the tiniest detail, the genetic makeup of species. This might come too hard to understand at first, but don't worry. Genetic diversity is just how we are distinguished from each other. Just look at your fingers. Notice how no two people have exactly the same fingerprints? Even identical twins still have their own differences in spite of roughly the same appearances. Genetic diversity is important because it helps maintain a healthy population. It helps species to survive the negative impacts of climate change, making survival of the fittest ring true even more. With higher genetic variations, the more chances there are for forest tree species to survive and thrive in an ever-changing environment. You may ask, how does genetic diversity in forestry help humans? The answer is simple. Forests provide us with resources, making it possible for humans to survive. Genetic diversity helps in decreasing the vulnerability of forest tree species to pests and other natural threats that may cause a decrease in population or even extinction. What's more, genetic diversity information can also serve an important role in tree breeding and in the improvement of our local forestry programs. The Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau of DENR has already initiated genetic diversity studies of priority forestry species in the Philippines. This might not come as a surprise, but documenting genetic diversity is easier said than done. There are processes needed to identify the genetic variations in a forestry species. First, plant geneticists determine an individual's DNA characteristics through DNA analysis. To get this done, ERDB does the following. 1. Researchers collect leaf samples from different sources around the country. 2. The collected leaf samples will then undergo DNA analysis. 3. The researchers will then extract the DNA found in the leaf sample through the use of CTAB test and the help of molecular marker RAPID. This process is called DNA isolation. 4. ERDB's Forest Molecular Biology Laboratory identifies genetic variations by using segments of the DNA sequence of individuals. These segments are called DNA-based molecular markers. By observing the different types or genetic polymorphisms of these markers, we can estimate the genetic diversity of the population. 5. Lastly, ERDB researchers observe the genetic variations among the individuals and analyze the data gathered. There are seven species that are included in the ongoing ERDB genetic diversity study. As of now, ERDB has assessed the genetic diversity of three species. The study showed the population holding the highest genetic diversity among the samples collected from different provinces in the Philippines. For Limuran, it is Bataan. For Nara, Ilocos. And for Kawayan Tinik, it is the Pangasinan population that holds the highest genetic diversity. With higher genetic variations, the more there is for species to survive and thrive in an ever-changing environment. The continuing study of ERDB on genetic diversity holds vast potentials for the preservation of the forest ecosystems in the Philippines. In reforestation programs, using a population of tree species with higher genetic variations poses a greater chance of surviving than a population with limited genetic variability. As the country faces unceasing and unregulated deforestation and loss of genetic resources, we are in a race with time to document and study the rich genetic diversity of our forestry resources. In Biotech, promoting biotechnologies for a healthy environment. To show your support, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash erdbgovph, and use the following hashtag, 
ERD by Youth Tech.